this temple was such a, a magnificent uh, building to be placed right here on Guam truly means a lot, not just to the, uh, the members of the church, but I think to the people in general. Baptism, where you can have your, your ancestors, you know, those who haven't been baptized, that you can do it for them. Uh, the ceiling room where, you know, you can, sure, be together as a family, not just on earth, but also after life. Closer together regionally, but now we're closer together in faith. One of the things I love uh, about the temple, it's a place where we can kind of leave the world. Once we're in there, we can make sacred uh, promises and receive sacred ordinances uh, that connect us uh, with our Father in heaven through Jesus Christ. And then when we leave the temple, we go back into the world, if you will, and uh, we, can, we can apply those principles in our lives. We can uh, bless and lift and strengthen others and help turn them to God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Half a day in the Nana Situs, I extend my undunklu, undunklu na situs masi um, for the beautiful, the beautiful place here for our congregation of Guam and Micronesia, those that I call from the blue continent. Our people from the blue continent are here to worship, to believe, to have faith, but to come together for our Heavenly Father, for unity, for peace, and to love one another. And that, I think it was a personal um, setting in my heart walking through the temple, faith in being able to baptize those those of who have not been baptized before and those families through through family history. And that's something that I've never heard those that may not have been baptized but can be baptized through generations. And to me, that's really what caught my heart. I love uh the concept of the temple, that it's all about family. And the great thing I appreciate about that is because that's what our island is of Guam too. I thought the, the inspirational room, if I remember that correctly, I would like to have stayed in there a little bit longer. And I think we have a beautiful breeze today, just special for this occasion. It was a great tour. I understood now more about what the temple is about and, and uh, the house of the Lord and uh, certainly has some very good inspirational and very good spiritual feelings, especially when we went to the uh, celestial room, the uh, quiet room, uh, very spiritual and very um, real values that uh, we need to continuously hold. And I think this temple has just uh, re-emphasized that. Um, this is a great addition to the beauty of our island. Very grateful that uh, there's a temple here for the members that have been here. This community started since after World War II, and I know that they've been waiting and waiting, and to see them have access to this temple here in Guam and Micronesia, I think is very special. I thought that um, my visit also to the temple helped give me a greater understanding about your faith, and. Um, and really celebrating um, the opportunity that the people of Guam have, the members of the congregation from Guam that are going to have to be able to visit the temple. It's truly great. It's an honor that I can have a chance to come look at, to have a tour at the temple. Just so good, I would say it's beyond words. It's just beyond words. There was the, whole, the, the, mo the most sacred room you have in, inside the room there. So I was told to just sit down, just meditate a little bit, which I did. I just feel so peaceful. It just... I actually don't even want to leave that place. So I can go. I don't even... I'm not ready to go by that time. Ready to go. It's just so good. All the religions will operate like the way you guys do. I think there will be peace in this world. There's no more war. This is the, my new experience. This is the first time, and when I came here, I feel I feel good, happy, and I feel peace inside. So we're here now at the location of the brand new temple, which happens to be situated on land that um, was very important to my family. This land, for many reasons, is sacred to our 
to our community and to my family especially. Touring the, the temple today, my mind was constantly on my grandparents who first brought me here. It's very appropriate, very apropos that, that a house of worship be built here to represent the importance of this place spiritually. I never thought I would ever see the inside of a Mormon temple, but that happened today. I'm full of different emotions right now. So I always grew up seeing this property as sacred land. I'm looking at this, this wonderful temple here now, and, and I feel, I feel, I feel, I have, I, I'm not sure what exactly I'm feeling, but it feels to me like this sacred house of God will watch over this place. And, uh, and I, I believe that. I believe that. I'd love to see the i